Hi everyone, welcome to another psdvault.com tutorial. In this video I'll show you how to create a fiery particle effect. So first of all we're going to be creating the brush that is the basis for the particle effect. So just starting off there with a 200 by 200 black background and we'll put a new layer on top and we'll choose a mid grey colour and we'll choose a soft brush there make it about 50 pixels and for this particular particle I'm just going to put it down the bottom left hand corner now I'm going to use the free transform right click in there and change it to distort and then drag it up to the diagonal right there I'm going to repeat that free transformation distortion again just to make this particle look as if it's moving. So now I'll turn off the background and I want to trim this down to get rid of any excess transparent pixels. So then we go back up to the edit menu and down to define brush preset and call it whatever we want there. Now I want to change some presets for this brush so we'll go into the preset menu now I'm going to be turning on the shape dynamics set the size jitter to 100% uh, angular jitter to whatever value we want there I'm going to be working with about 10% for this particular one and I'm going to turn on the scattering with those values shown there. And I turn on the opacity jitter as well. So now I'll save this as a new brush preset and we're ready to start using it on a new canvas. So we'll create the new canvas there, 600 by 600 on my screen. Now I didn't show you before but I actually went back and changed the uh, brush types angular jitter control to follow the mouse direction. So you can see there the particles are following basically the swirl that I've done with the mouse. So as you can see the particles are randomly sized and angled based upon the direction that my mouse was traveling in. So I've added a second layer here and I've used a small soft round brush to highlight some of those particles to make them look as if they were like fireflies or sparks or something like that. And that's just to make them stand out a little bit more, make the particles slightly more interesting. Okay, so now I've added a couple of adjustment layers and this will define our color of the particles. So in the color balance layer there, in the shadows tone, I've got those values set. In the mid-tones we've got those values and in the highlights we've got these values. So turn that on. Start to see we're going to be aiming for a yellowy red effect. I'll turn on the curves with those particular values there. And in hue and saturation got those values. So it turns it into a nice fiery red colour. We can play with the saturation a bit. Now you might notice I've also decreased the opacity of the two particle layers there a little bit. Simply because 100% is just way too bright for the effect I'm trying to achieve there. Finally I'm going to add a slight blur to this image uh, because uh, this is circular I'm going to be adding a radial blur otherwise if it was just a, a straight motion blur it would look slightly weird. 
Now I'm not going to go overboard with the amount of blurring involved here. So you can see there the blurring effect is just taking the edges off some of those particles. So I'm happy with that. And here's a couple of other ones I've done. This one is just random scattering of particles, all based on the same brush size. And this one is just a, a swarm of fireflies, basically, coming towards the camera. Alright, hope you've enjoyed that, and I'll see you next time.